Hi everyone, it has been a while. Welcome back to my channel. I am Nick. If you are new here, make sure you are subscribed. Come over and follow me at Good Luck Nick on Instagram. Welcome. Welcome to 2021. Happy New Year. I've just not posted in such a long time. The mood didn't take me, so I didn't think focusing on what I want to do and doing what, what I want when I want is part of my lifestyle. So YouTube just wasn't speaking to me at the time. So I had a bit of time off and I am back now. I am currently 30 weeks and five days pregnant. Where has that time gone? I, I, I don't know. My hair looks ridiculously long as well. Got a Dyson air wrap for Christmas, so thought I'd spruce myself up for you this morning. Um, but what I'm really on here to talk about is I've done a haul. Um, it is maternity clothes. My lovely, lovely people of Instagram have requested that I do a maternity haul because I've not done one in such a long time. Not since I've had a real bump either. So I wanted to show you some bits I've bought. Some bits are maternity, some bits aren't maternity. And I've tried to bear in mind um, nursing for afterwards because obviously I've only got nine weeks left. So I didn't want to buy anything that wasn't going to last. Well, I have bought some bits that aren't going to last, but you know, it's fine. Some bits for hospital. I've bought some new pyjamas, which I want to show you, which I think will be, they're not maternity, but I think they'll be great for nursing after. And I've sized up in them as well, so they'll be super comfortable for now. And hopefully will fit me afterwards too. Um, I'm also going to show you a couple of bits that I've already got that I've been wearing for the last however many months. And just picking out my favourite bits that I find have been a really useful staple in my wardrobe since being pregnant. All the links to everything will be in the description box below and the sizes I wear will be in the description box below as well. Make sure you leave a little thumbs up on this video. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel with the notification bell turned on so when I do end up posting, you will be notified when a new video goes live. Um, and as I said, come over to Instagram, that is where my most action happens. But I'm hoping to get back on this a little bit more now. I say that, I'm having a baby in nine weeks, so how much I can get out after that will be another thing. But yeah, we'll, we'll sit down and have a chat about what's been going on and how things have been going for me um, and how I found pregnancy and stuff in the next video. But for now, we will just talk about the clothes. So first up, I'm going to go with what I'm wearing. It is a cord, but you could definitely... Let's tilt that camera down because it is a bit tall. I'm not that tall. It is like a ribbed um, velour type top and bottoms. It is an under the bump, but it kind of fits me just fine going around. Um, I don't look like I've bump there, but have. Um, they're just comfy for in the house. Um, I've been wearing this top with jeans, I've been wearing these bottoms with a different top, so you can mix and match them. These are from ASOS, and I believe they're size 12, both top and bottom size 12, which is great, um, mid-size. If you are just into a 12, I'd definitely say you could size down. And when I first got them at Christmas, when I didn't have as much of a bump, I didn't find they were, I found they were quite loose around the back, but since my bumps got bigger, they have kind of moulded to me, but I was wearing them before anyway. So yeah, this is outfit number one. Um, again, this is something that I already own. So I'm gonna go on to this new stuff that I've bought now. Um, I just wanted to tell you about this while I'm not wearing it. Quick disclaimer, I've not tried any of these clothes on yet. So this is a non-maternity wrap dress which is midi, which I thought would be great like in the last few weeks because it is floaty and it's a wrap dress so it's easy to whack your boob out when you need to breastfeed as well. So we'll try that on for you now. So this is the dress. This is, a, like I said, it's a non-maternity and it is a size 10. I thought because it was going to be floaty, I thought I would size down just to see how it looks. Again, this isn't normally my length area that I go with. I'm not unhappy, it's going to be able to get the boob out easily, or relatively easily. I'm wearing a bra with this, 
um so it does cover a bra up as well it's got a tie um at the top of the neck um and it crosses both sides but i thought it's quite cute um nice color i mean it's very similar well i like to think it's very similar to my skin color but yeah i'm not unhappy with this one at all what do you think feels very roomy and airy and like if the weather does start to pick up into spring summer i think you're going to be fine in this if you are still pregnant um, and for afterwards obviously you're going to be able to wear it as a normal dress as well which is just perfect i like to be able to see the longevity out of clothes i don't want to have just clothes that i'm only going to be able to wear for a short period of time the next item is also a dress um, I went for a shirt dress this time, so we will try this on and I'll let you know what I think. Okay, so this is a boyfriend fit shirt um, and it is longer at the back than it is at the front. So it's got quite good coverage at the back. Obviously with the bump it does make the front a little bit shorter. I quite like it, but I probably would be inclined to wear cycling shorts or something underneath. Just, I do get a little bit conscious, not conscious, just in case a gust of wind comes more or less. But yeah, it's like got big puffy sleeves. It's a really nice color. Um, it's buttoned all the way up and down, so you can obviously get to it for breastfeeding. But I thought for the summer, it's nice and light and airy. Yeah, I, I do quite like it. What do you think of this one? This is a size 12, it's not maternity, um, but it has got plenty of room in there for the bump. But it does feel like you are wearing your partner's shirt, which I suppose is the point. But, uh, yeah, I do like it, but it is a little bit short in the front for me personally. I mean, it doesn't really look it on the camera, but when I'm looking in the mirror, I feel well covered at the back and less so at the front. So this one is a maternity dress um, with nursing capabilities. So it's got a uh, like a lift up front and then you can get your booby out from the side. But this, it doesn't quite, I don't know whether you can see it on the video, but it doesn't, doesn't seem to be sitting quite right on me. I don't know if it's because my boobs are not big enough or what, but I like the length and I like the fact that it is like, almost bodycon type because I wanted to be able to show my bum puff obviously we're not being able to go anywhere but it is like I would put this on with a pair of trainers um, and just go to the shops in it or whatever I haven't got anything this length in maternity so it is quite nice and I don't really have anything this length not maternity either and just make it last but I quite like it. It's a size medium. I'm not unhappy. I mean, I'm, I'm unhappy with the top. That just doesn't feel like it. I don't know if you can see because it's black. Like black on black. Can you see? Doesn't really. What do we think? Do I need bigger boobs? Are they going to come when I'm breastfeeding? I don't know. But yeah, this is quite like this. This is seems to be like my sort of vibe and um, I did order a jumper as well so I'm going to put the jumper on over the top of this just so you can kind of get the gist it, again it is a nursing jumper because it's got buttons on the side so you can undo them and be able to get your boob out so this is the jumper I quite like it it's it's quite thin so I think it'll be fine for like in the summertime these are the they've got quite big they're like tortoise shell buttons um, so you can undo them if you need to. You can even probably undo some of the buttons and kind of tie it up if you wanted to have your bum on show. That's probably what I would do. Or put a belt on, you know, where you wear the belt and you kind of tuck the jumper underneath. Just if you're not nursing at the moment and you wanted to show your belly off a little bit more. These are the kind of ways I would wear it with a dress underneath. It's just an easy way to throw something on if you weren't a cardigan person or if you weren't a... You don't want to put a big coat on or something. But yeah, I quite like this. It's nice in a nice like soft peach colour. Can you see? 
but yeah this is quite a nice one these are the pajamas so they are silky they have got lobsters and love hearts on so i think they might be for valentine's day but i thought they were so cute definitely easy access and they've got buttons on for breastfeeding um shorts again these are a four i went for a 14 in these and there is plenty of space for me and the bump at this time of day i mean by night time i'll probably be wearing them underneath just to be a bit more comfortable but i thought these were so cute they're gonna look really nice throughout the summer and for in hospital and stuff but i am now going to save them until i'm having the baby in hospital i think yeah they're just kind of nice even i would probably even wear this like as a blouse <laughs> you know if you just needed something easy to wear to breastfeed if you were just sitting at home anyway if you didn't want to wear pajama bottoms or say if you want to put leggings or jeans on or something um yeah i like it a lot so yeah this this came as a set and i got it in a 14. i am in love with this so this is a maternity jumpsuit with wide leg pockets corded stretchy comfy soft um this t-shirt is also new this is a non-maternity t-shirt which actually covers my bump because i'm finding that a lot of my t-shirts are like gradually rising and rising and rising up so this is nice to find a t-shirt that i could wear that isn't maternity that's going to last me but yeah i'm actually in love with this jumpsuit it's so comfortable plenty of room for bump this is a size 10 it fits me really nicely i mean if you've got a bigger bump than me there's still room in here as well which I thought was really cute. I like the length. If you are taller than me, I'm five foot five, as I've said in previous videos, with short legs. And it is like an ankle grazer on me. So if you are a bit taller, they might come up a bit cropped. Just bear that in mind if you aren't a cropped leg person. But I really like it. Put it on with a pair of trainers, put it on my night blazers or something like that. And I just, yeah, I can see this being my last nine week outfit for sure. Oh, so comfortable. So nice. Right, I have got two more tops to show you. But I'm going to put on a pair of jeans that I've got from H&M. That are my, like, go-to jeans. Um, they're, like, jegging, I suppose. Because they are stretchy, but they are definitely denim. Um, very, very comfortable. I thought I'd quickly keep this t-shirt on just to show you the length. If this is a medium. And it was literally, like, a fiver. It was so cheap. Um, these are the maternity jeans that I've got from uh, H&M. They do say jegging inside, but I will link them in the description box below. And I got them in a medium. They are roomy, so I probably could have gone down a size, but I don't know whether they would have been more uncomfortable, but these, I do have to hike them up. This is the Calvin Klein nursing bra also, by the way, and it is really comfortable. I've got three of them. So they've got the clips on, so you can uh, take them off easily to breastfeed. But I'm finding them really comfortable now while I'm not quite in normal bras, but not quite in. You know, they've, they've not got an underwire in is what I'm trying to say. Oh, the out of breathness is a ridiculous joke. So yeah, this t-shirt, perfect. I'm going to show you the last two. One is a pyjama top and one is not. So I'm going to just do the normal one first and then I'll do the other one. So this is a washed green t-shirt. So it did, literally, it's not clingy at all. It just skims over the bump. So if you were somebody that wanted to hide it away or be a bit more comfortable or didn't want to have it on show, you definitely could in this. So yeah, I really like the color of this. It's like a bluey green acid wash type. And this is a size 10, so it's not overly long, it doesn't cover my bum or my belly. Well, it covers my belly, it just just covers it, in my opinion. It's not a long line or a long length t-shirt at all. So the last one is a pyjama top, but I didn't... I was thinking maybe if I just wear a pyjama top or even wear it as a t-shirt. It's a black t-shirt, essentially, with nursing capabilities, so let's try it. Who decided to call this a pyjama top? This is a black t-shirt. I went for a 12 because I thought I wanted it to be a bit baggy. If I did decide to sleep in it, um, it skims the bump. It's not too tight. But it, 
is definitely easier access so I suppose if you were going out and you wanted to be a bit more covered you could wear different tops but this has definitely got easy access for feeding um, but yeah very good I will finish off one sec I've got to answer the door so that is my size 10 to 14 maternity haul my battery just died so i literally just had to change it thank you so much for watching i hope you found it useful let me know what you thought in the comments let me know if you're going to be buying any of the items if you do tag me on instagram um i am so excited about these items <sighs> who knew i'd be so excited about black t-shirt thank you so much for being here thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your support and i will see you on the next one